Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to very quickly, I'm, I'm not going to take my time with this, show you how to connect VAPI directly into Go High Level so that when you trigger an automation in Go High Level, it sends it directly to VAPI. There's no make automation necessary for this first step. It is immediately going to take the, the contact or lead that you've created and send them directly into VAPI. Uh, I've I searched tons and tons of videos. I could not find anyone doing it this way. So this is how it's going to be done. So check this out. What you need is a VAP, your VAPI uh, account set up. I'll, I'll use the Santa Claus one as an example. This is one I just created, like a, a really cool Santa Claus to send to some kids and friends so that they could call Santa and you know have a conversation with them. And what you need is an automation. So I have this automation here inside of Go High Level. New lead to call and it's gonna trigger VAPI automation, okay? So what I've done is I have two triggers. I, I usually set up multiple triggers that are act as redundancy. So someone has moved into a pipeline stage or their a contact tag is added. So tag AI caller is added, okay? And then the tag, this is my other redundancy. Um, if I move them to pipeline stage, I want that tag to be added automatically. And then the last step is custom webhook, okay? So this is like, if you hit, hit this plus sign, this is what people are using instead of, it's using make for instead of go high level. Go high level has this natively. So the custom webhook, you can set that up really nicely. So the way I have mine set up, it's going to be a post. I use custom webhook, post, and then URL, HTTPS, API.vapi.ai slash call. Okay, and then the authorization step. I just skip that and just build it into my header. That's just how I've, I've always done it. So I have authorization and then bearer and then a space and then your API key that you grab from VAP, VAPI. So if you don't know how to do that, you come down here. No, I'll move you out the way. You come down here, you go to API keys and you just grab your private key here. You copy that into this step here and then that's gonna connect it directly into your VAPI account. Then it's uh, application JSON, and this is how I have it built out. And so I could probably like, you know, put the template or something in the, in the comments below. But your assistant ID, you're gonna paste that in here. So for the Santa Claus, it's going to be <coughs> this assistant ID. You just copy this and you paste it into here, okay? This is custom values, and what I like about this is if you wanted to pull in custom values, so say like I wanna do email, okay, right, colon, and then I just come up here to custom values and then I can grab the user's email. And that's going to dynamically push that into the system for me, okay? Then, this is those are variable values. Okay, and then customer number and name, that's who it's gonna call. For me, because I pull in just the regular customer phone, I have to add the plus one in here. I think if I was to do this as like a, if I didn't want to add in the customer code, actually you don't do that. You, It's, it's gonna be phone raw, I think it's called, so custom phone raw format and that should pull in the the country code so it's i was a bunch of testing couldn't figure out why it wasn't working and then i realized the plus one be added on there so phone raw i think would do the trick there so you don't need to add in the plus one or if you're calling different countries or whatever it may be and then the first name that's a dynamic field too okay and then the, the phone number id i just grabbed that from my phone numbers and say i'm calling from this one here i'm going to grab this phone number id and paste that in there and there you go, cool. And then you can uh, do a save response from workflow, you test it, and then you can pull in a contact and do that. So I'm gonna show you a, a real test here. So let me pull in, this is my test contact I usually use to test. So I'm going to show you right now, I'm gonna remove AI caller, and then I'm gonna add an AI caller again, just so it gives me a phone call. <clears throat> and in just a couple seconds, I should get a phone call here. There you go. Hello? Hello? Hi there, can you hear me now? Yeah. Hi. Awesome. So, my name is David. Are you an insurance agent? Yeah, cool. So that's how it works. Like, that's all triggered from Go High Level. There's no reason to use Make for this step. And then the last thing that I've added in here, you see the time up here, 207. I just added one more step to log the outbound call. So external call. Uh, because I'm using VAPI and then my Twilio account, I'm not using the phone side of Go High Level. Uh, so I want to use, I want to know, okay, did I make a phone call? You know what happened there? Uh, external call. Um, and so it's just that, so you can actually just uh, show you log external call just like that. And then what I, the way I have mine set up, it's an outbound, inbound or outbound. Uh, the date, um, I didn't put that in there. Contact phone number, so what, who did I call? Right. And then uh, the from number, so I just grabbed my phone number from and then um, the call status is completed. And so that all that just shows up in here. Um, so you can 
kind of see all the details. So that looks like, yeah, it's um, it works really well. You don't need to use Make for this step. You can just use Go High Level. I'm still working on building up where um, the you know, use Go High Level to look for all the information. Vapi, um, so like you know the calendar invites and all that. So, but yeah, you can you can fully build this out. So have fun with it.